Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Christiana Mausi Sayra. I would like to talk about why you should never throw your baby up in the air or toss them in the air and catch them. The baby could develop head injury or head trauma or a condition that is known as shaking baby syndrome. So, Shaking baby syndrome is a type of brain injury which occurs when a baby or an infant or a toddler is shaking violently. So how does this happen? It commonly occurs in very stressful situations when the baby or the infant, you know, cries a lot and becomes inconsolable. So, you know, in attempt to soothe the baby, or to calm the baby, to stop the baby from crying, a tired and a frustrated caregiver or a parent may, you know, handle the baby roughly. And a typical example is throwing the baby up in the air and then catching the baby. That is not good. So, if you throw a baby or if you shake a baby violently, what happens is that it could cause bruising, swelling, and bleeding around the brain of the baby it could damage the eyes it could damage the neck the spine of the baby it could damage you know it could even cause fracture of the skull that's the bone that is covering the brain it could it could cause fracture of the color uh, the, the color bone it could it could cause fracture of you know the ribs the arms the legs of the baby so it is a no 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 now so what, what is the actual reason why you should not throw a baby in the air and catch? Babies, you know, they do not have that uh, full control or they don't have enough control over their neck muscles because their neck muscles are not fully matured or developed. And also their head is, you know, very large and heavy in proportion to the rest of their body. So when a baby is shaking, the brain bounces, you know, back and forth against the inside of the skull. The skull is the bone that is protecting the brain. So when you shake the baby like that, the brain inside, it bounces like this, back and forth. And this will cause, you know, bruising and bleeding around the brain and then bleeding behind the eyes. So it will damage the eyes of the baby. And you know, this impact or these injuries could happen from as little as five seconds of shaking the baby. So it is, it is not a good practice at all. If you feel very tired or exhausted and you know there is nobody to assist with taking over or taking care of the infant or the child, the baby, please put the baby in a safe crib put the baby in a safe crib and then just you know uh, step out outside or step inside you know the next room for some few minutes to calm yourself down take a deep breath and then come back to the baby that shouldn't be an excuse to throw the baby in the air or to handle the baby violently now if the baby is shaking the injury these injuries could lead to brain damage, permanent disability, or even the baby can die. And the symptoms usually appear, it could appear immediately after the baby has been shaken, or up to six hours after the baby has been shaken, or even later in life, when the child begins to experience attention and behavioral problems. Then the doctor will ask you, has the baby ever been shaking or, you know, undergone any, you know, trauma or head trauma when the, the baby was young or whatever. And please note that the early symptoms could be, you know, the baby could go into coma. The baby could stop, you know, a, a babbling or talking, you know, the babbling sound. The baby could stop. The baby may have widely dilated eyes or pupils. The baby could, you know, uh, uh, will be, you know, could lose that ability to lift it, uh, his or her head. You know, the baby could go into coma. 
the baby could be vomiting. Those are the early signs, or yeah, early early signs you can see. There could be swelling on the head, or the baby's head or forehead could begin to swell up. You will suddenly see that it has enlarged. Those are signs that the baby has been shaken. Now, if eighty percent of babies who have been shaken violently, eighty percent of them who survive. Later in life, develop very serious medical conditions such as uh, cerebral palsy, epilepsy, paralysis, learning uh, disabilities, and so many more. They could also develop seizures, convulsion. So please, do not shake the baby or throw the baby in the air and catch even if you want to do it for fun, it is a no-no. And it's important to educate other caregivers, your nannies, those who are helping your relatives, who are helping you take care of the baby. Don't assume they know. Tell them that they should not throw the baby. In fact, I'll make a separate video on other things that you should not do to prevent baby from getting you know, this kind of head injury. Or head trauma apart from throwing and catching the baby there are other things that you should not do because they can also lead to the shaking baby syndrome so except there will be a separate video on that so please do not throw baby if you are frustrated put baby safely inside the crib and then just step away from the baby small few minutes try to calm yourself down take deep breath and come back to the baby. You can wrap the baby's back, cuddle the baby. That should suit the baby. If you do all that and baby is clean, baby is dry, baby is fed, and still baby is not coming, the baby is still crying, you may seek, you know, a, a, a prompt medical care in case there is something happening to your baby. So please, the new moms, if you try to cuddle your baby, you try to sing to the baby, you try to talk to the baby, you know, saying soothing words to the baby and all that. You've checked the uh, baby's diaper. Everything is dry. Everything is okay. But still, baby is crying. You can seek advice from, you know, uh, older parents on how to, you know, keep your baby, you know, relaxed and, you know, soothe your baby. If all that fail, please seek medical care. There could be a problem with the baby. You may not know. There could be a medical problem. So don't just relax. Thank you. And please watch out for the other video, which will, you know, mention the other things that we should equally avoid to prevent this particular brain injury to our babies and toddlers. Thank you. Bye.